When non-hormonal treatments for GSM are not sufficient for relief of GSM symptoms like vaginal dryness, irritation, pain with sexual activity, or urinating more frequently, there are prescription hormonal treatments that can be tried. Low-dose vaginal estrogen therapy provides enough estrogen to relieve GSM symptoms with minimal absorption and is actually preferred over systemic estrogen therapy when GSM symptoms are the only bothersome menopause symptoms. Low-dose estrogen therapy is available in several forms, including creams containing either estradiol or conjugated estrogens, a slow-release estradiol vaginal ring, an estradiol vaginal tablet, and an insert. All of the low-dose vaginal estrogen products have been proven to relieve GSM symptoms. So the choice of product really depends on your personal preference and what you think you will use long-term, as GSM symptoms typically do not get better with time and require ongoing therapy. These products have been studied in randomized controlled trials for one year and have been shown to be safe. However, large observational studies have been very reassuring and have not shown increased risk of heart disease, blood clot, or cancer with long-term vaginal estrogen use. Most women are candidates for the use of low-dose vaginal estrogen, but it should be used with caution in those with a history of an estrogen-sensitive cancer, such as breast cancer. Vaginal discharge and breast pain are potential adverse effects. Vaginal DHEA is a steroid hormone that is converted to estrogen and androgen in the vaginal tissues. It is used nightly and is also effective for relieving GSM symptoms. Vaginal discharge is the most common adverse effect. Ospamiphene is an oral selective estrogen receptor modulator or SERM that is taken daily for GSM symptoms. It is the only orally available product approved for treatment of GSM symptoms. While additional research in women with breast cancer is needed, it appears to be linked with decreased breast cancer risk in preliminary studies. The most common side effect is hot flashes. Improvement in GSM symptoms typically occurs within a few weeks of starting therapy, but treatment for 12 weeks may be needed for maximum benefit. Treatment should be continued as long as needed for symptom management because symptoms will return once treatment is stopped. Because vaginal bleeding may be associated with overgrowth of the uterine lining, any spotting or bleeding needs to be evaluated and should prompt you to see your medical provider. Energy-based therapies such as lasers and radio frequency devices are under investigation as treatments for GSM, but none have been FDA approved for treatment of GSM to date. They are thought to improve vaginal health by causing micro lesions that stimulate collagen production and blood vessel growth. Early studies show it appears to be effective for GSM symptoms, although additional studies are needed to determine the long-term safety and effectiveness for GSM. The bottom line, there are many safe and effective prescription therapies that are available for treatment of GSM symptoms. Work with your medical provider to determine which would be best for you.